You know, I started working with Ray probably 30 years ago. At first, I'd come home from a clinic and people would say, well, what'd you learn? Well, in those days, early on, I'd say, well, I learned how to get my horse kind of tucking his head a little bit. That's about it. So he looks really good when he runs off. <laughs> Pretty. Or I'd say, well, I learned how to get one to not run away with me anymore. Learned how to get those hind quarters kicked out of gear. So there are big things that I learned then because I was coming from a place that I didn't have any understanding of what he's looking for. You know, 25 years later, they'd say, what in the hell are you riding with him still for? You haven't got it yet? But all I know is every time I rode with him, he made me better. And through seeing this again and again, there'll be things you'll pick up. You'll, you'll adjust and you'll think, I'll be dang, I missed that little nuance. At first, you just start to kind of learn some basic mechanics of it. It goes beyond the mechanical to a feel. You start having the horse operate through a feel and you start to realize these things that you've been told hundreds of times of doing less and seeing how little it takes to get the horse to do something, that operating from a feel is a whole different thing than just mechanically thrashing around. And to me, it's all about having that horse's expression right, where it doesn't take hardly anything physically from you to get the horse to operate for you.